Carcinoid syndrome is a combination of symptoms that occur in some patients with carcinoid tumors, which are slow-growing tumors that arise from neuroendocrine cells. These tumors are most commonly found in the gastrointestinal tract, particularly in the small intestine, but can also originate in other organs such as the lungs, pancreas, and appendix. Most carcinoid tumors do not produce symptoms until they metastasize or spread to other parts of the body, typically the liver. When carcinoid tumors release serotonin and other hormones into the bloodstream, they can lead to a range of symptoms that constitute carcinoid syndrome. One of the hallmark symptoms is flushing, which may present as episodic redness or warmth in the face, neck, and upper body. This occurs due to the release of vasoactive substances, causing blood vessels to dilate. Another common symptom of carcinoid syndrome is diarrhea. This can be significant and recurrent, often leading to dehydration and nutritional deficiencies. The excess serotonin affects gut motility, leading to an increased rate of peristalsis, which contributes to diarrhea. Patients may also experience abdominal cramping, which can accompany these bowel changes. Additionally, individuals with carcinoid syndrome may experience wheezing or shortness of breath due to bronchoconstriction caused by the release of serotonin and other factors. This respiratory distress can mimic asthma and may require a medical evaluation to differentiate between conditions. Flushing and diarrhea are commonly associated symptoms, but other components of carcinoid syndrome can include skin lesions, which may manifest as a rash or telangiectasia. Patients could also present with signs of valvular heart disease, particularly affecting the right side of the heart, a consequence of fibrosis caused by the elevated levels of serotonin. This can lead to severe complications such as heart failure if not monitored and managed appropriately. Diagnosing carcinoid syndrome typically involves a combination of imaging studies and blood tests. The 24-hour urine test for 5-hydroxyindoleacetic acid, or 5-HIAA, is critical since it's a metabolite of serotonin. Elevated levels of 5-HIAA in the urine can indicate carcinoid syndrome and help correlate symptoms with tumor activity. Imaging techniques such as CT scans and MRIs help identify the primary tumor and its metastasis, while octreotide scans can locate neuroendocrine tumors based on their ability to bind to somatostatin receptors. Treatment for carcinoid syndrome aims to control symptoms, manage hormone secretion, and treat the underlying tumors. Somatostatin analogs, like octreotide and lanreotide, can help reduce the secretion of serotonin and alleviate symptoms such as flushing and diarrhea. These medications can also slow tumor growth and minimize complications caused by metastasis. In cases where there are obstructive symptoms or complications, surgery may be considered to remove the primary tumor or metastatic lesions. Liver-directed therapies, including radiofrequency ablation or transarterial chemoembolization, might be options for patients with liver metastasis. In more advanced cases, systemic therapies and targeted treatment options, like peptide receptor radionuclide therapy, are explored. Symptoms of carcinoid syndrome can greatly impact a patient's quality of life. Therefore, it's essential for individuals experiencing these signs to seek medical attention. Although carcinoid tumors typically have a better prognosis than many other malignancies, early detection and timely management are crucial. In summary, Carcinoid syndrome represents a unique challenge in the realm of neuroendocrine tumors. Through careful monitoring and a multidisciplinary management approach, patients can lead fulfilling lives even in the presence of this syndrome. As always, consult with healthcare professionals for personalized advice and treatment options should you suspect carcinoid syndrome or have any related symptoms. Thank you for watching this educational segment on carcinoid syndrome. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing for more information on health topics.